Hello, my name is Neil Anderson. I am a software developer here at Redgate Software and I work on the Oracle tools in our deployment suite for Oracle. Um, so the deployment suite for Oracle is primarily focused on uh, making deployments uh, easier on, on developers and also helping you while, while developing keep track of your code. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get set up with continuous integration of your Oracle database using Redgate's tools. In this example, I'm going to be using um, Jenkins as my build system and SVN for my version control system. But the same steps should, you, should work on any other combination of build system and source control system that you would, you would care to use. Also, for convenience, I'm going to be using uh, the same machine as both my build, uh, my build system server and a build agent. So the first thing you've got to do is install Schema Compare for Oracle. So Schema Compare uh, is a tool that um, let, makes it easy for you to uh, detect and deploy differences between databases. So it will query two databases, it will check what's different between them, and then at the end it will tell you or, or give you the SQL in order to upgrade the target database to match the source. So Schema Compare comes with both a, a, a GUI and a command line. and um, in this example, we're going to be using the command line a lot because it's perfect for um, automating deployments. So after I've installed, I'm going to, here's a simple example of a, of a comparison via the command line. I just give it some flags to say what the source and target databases are. It runs through its uh, pro procedure and tells me there's one difference between these databases. So next I'm going to set up a, a new job in Jenkins. Um, I'm going to go for a freestyle uh, project. Uh, I'm going to call it Database CI. So after giving it a description, uh, I'm going to tell it to use a custom workspace just so I know where I'm going to be checking out these files. And um, So having set up a custom workspace, I'm then going to tell um, Jenkins where my SVN repository is. Again, for convenience here, it's a local machine, so th don't be too confused by this, um, the, the file protocol. You can use the SVN protocol, whatever you like here. Um, on top of that, I'm going to tell SVN or tell Jenkins I wanted to check my SVN repository every minute of every hour of every day, and those, that's what those five stars you see mean. And then I'm going to set up uh, the kind of meat of the operation. I'm going to give it two and build steps, both of which are going to be batch calls to uh, schema compares for, for Oracle's command line. So the first one is going to first of all check that there is a difference between my, it's going to look at the script folder that I've checked out from SVN, it's going to compare it to the other environment that I want to deploy the difference to, it's going to generate the script and then it's going to deploy and upgrade that target environment. Then the second uh, step is going to check that the first step was successful. It's going to make sure that there's no differences anymore um, between those two uh, environments, between the script folder and the target environment. So in order to test this, I'm going to, I, I've made a change here. I've added a column to this table. And I'm going to check it in via source control for Oracle. So source control for Oracle just detects changes between uh, my development environment and uh, the files I have in SVN. So when it detects there's a difference, it tells me and I can commit them. So now that I've checked that in, my job on Jenkins has noticed that that change has happened and it started off a build. So I'm going to show you the, the console output from that build um, just so you can get a look at what's going on. So initially, it's the first build step is happening. It's um, comparing the, the, the source control, the folder from sort of that is checked out from SVN to the target database, it's found a difference, it's generated a deployment script and ran that script. And now the second step runs to make sure that the first step was successful. It checks, it runs through the same comparison again, but expects that there should be no differences anymore. So you can see that that was successful. It says now after deployment, um, the two data sources match, so that was a successful build. So there's one more thing that I forgot to show there, and so I'm going to add it to the uh, to the project or to the to, to the job. So during the build, 
um, schema compare for Oracle outputs a SQL file, which is the SQL that it's going to run to perform the deployment. I would like Jenkins to archive that file so I can inspect it at a later date. So um, I'm going to update the uh, job to archive anything start that ends with .sql um, that's in my workspace uh, or in my working folder when, um, when the build is complete. So by doing that, to do that, I just add a post build action. I say archive the artifacts that, and I give it a, um, a matching wildcard.sql. Um, so now I'm just going to make another change to, make, to kick off another build. Um, I check that in and Jenkins will kick off again and make another um, run through. So you can see now it's the same sort of, uh, it was the same as before, but this time Jenkins has, has kept a record of the SQL that it, that it ran so I can inspect it at a later date. So there's lots of other things you can do with the command line. If you want to know more, you can go to documentation.redgate.com and go to the Oracle development section. And in there, you can learn about what other flags are available for the, for the command line interface. So you can do things like generate reports, um, um, turn on and off different options because there's lots of options for, for, for what you should consider or what you would like Schema Compare to consider it when it's doing a comparison. So you can ignore certain things um, such as comments, for example, if you don't want, if you don't care about differences in that. Um, uh, you can include or exclude if you want to um, try out our tools, you can download them from Redgate's website uh, at redgate.com forward slash products forward slash Oracle development. And um, we also have some more information there about continuous integration. This particular page shows you how to do it with Team City.